Who doesn't love a bagel? A round, dense, but fluffy pillow of goodness. And if you don't like them, we can't be friends. Originally from Jewish communities in Poland, bagels are now starting to find their way onto many high streets and bakeries. Their popularity has soared as a quick pit stop snack, so it felt right to dedicate a food walk to the original bagel. Here are my top picks. I kickstart my journey at Bee Bagel. This is one of three shops they have in London, and the owners, Yoav and Alon, also have Ronnie's in Hampstead. This place serves a lot of different filled bagels, some traditional, some not so much. They also have an array of other delicacies. After spending many years working in the sales and marketing world, they turned their passion of food to bagels. Sought advice from Alon's father-in-law, Ronnie, and they opened their first shop in 2010. I love their open kitchen and oven, so you can see exactly what kind of work goes into their baked goods. Due to how busy it was, this was an in and out job. So here we go, first up. So they have been very generous. They have given me a selection of all their bagels. This is my plain bagel. It's still warm out the oven. First impressions, um, it's big. I think it's quite big. Um, I love the color of it. It's nice and bouncy. Um, so I'm gonna go for it. It's chewy. It's got a really good spike crisp on the outside. You can see it's got like good density. Oh, it's really tasty. It's got a good base. And you can probably hear the crunch. So this is their speciality, obviously hot salt beef. Oh my God, look at that. Completely filled to the brim. And if I just open it up a little bit see oh yes the salt beef is tender you've got the delicious crunch and the sweetness from the pickles they've got like a mustard mayo in there the sauerkraut that's really really tasty actually i really like this um the mustard mayo actually gives it like a little bit of well creaminess really nice last but not least couldn't have left without a smoked salmon cream cheese. Oh yeah, well loaded. And I think, do you know what I like about the uh, smoked salmon bagel? It's so simple, that it, you don't need to do anything to it. Smoked salmon, cream cheese, poppy seed bagel, done. Let's go for it. So first thoughts are that it's very good smoked salmon. The reason why I sometimes have a bit of a weird relationship with smoked salmon is when it's too oily or it's too smoky. This is actually perfect. On to the next one. Speaking of bagels, it would be rude not to involve the king of bagel eating, my father, Mr. Richard Young. Growing up in Hackney, East London in the 50s and 60s, the area had a huge Jewish community and he's been going to this next spot ever since he can remember. The Bagel Bake on Brick Lane is probably the most notorious and well-known bagel spot in London since it opened in 1974. Oh. We're interested in the cake. We're Pick interested in we're we're interested no, in all both. of you. Oh, both. You're, you're all in this together, I'm afraid. Listen, I've been coming in here since you first opened. Yeah, coming from the clubs and everything. It's 1974, 75. Two smoked salmon bagels, eating a taxi on the way home. <laughs> What, what do you think makes you guys so special compared to everyone else? Um, I just think it's good, good honest food. Uh, we've got no, as you can see, we've got no doors on our kitchen. Yeah. So everyone can see what we're doing. Nice, open, and I we, love open kitchens. Yes, and we use a, um, a traditional recipe that we don't change. Yeah. You know, keep it simple and fresh and uh, people so like it. So were you literally bought in as a kid to come and work here? Yeah, so I used to come help my, my, my dad out as a child during school holidays. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I 
What are your <laughs> earliest memories of having bagels? I feel like everyone can always remember like their first moment of, well, I guess you were probably fed them as, as soon as you could yeah, eat so, Yeah, we used them as, uh, do you know when you're teething? Oh my God, really? Yeah, so we used to use them as a child for, oh my God. to help soothe your, oh, our really? gums. Yeah. What's your favorite bagel? Uh, I like the salt beef. Same. I think it's probably probably the best. Yeah. Salmon and cream cheese is a close second though. And uh, tuna sweet corn. Tuna sweet corn? Really? Tuna, tuna sweet corn, yeah, you'll be surprised. Okay. It's pretty All good. Right. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about their salt beef for a second. This is the holy grail of bagel eating. Thick, juicy cuts of tender brisket, a smithering of mustard and pickles on top. Okay. This is what we're here for. Correct. Before you before you shove that in your mouth, just yeah. hold it for a second. Oh, it feels nice. <laughs> feels nice and so it's uh, nice and warm. Nice and warm. And, Ooh, yeah, nice listen crust. to that. Yeah, nice crust. So you said to me earlier you like squeezing yours down. Yeah, Why I do you like, like doing that? Because because look at it, that. It kind of because otherwise it gets too um, too, too too doughy. Okay, so. And then I like to split it in half. Yeah. And then I like to go, mmm, delicious. Mmm. You're very naughty. I'm telling mum on you. Mm -hmm. You've got, he's, he's grabbing it. This is the historic um, smoked salmon bagel with cream cheese. It's fine. It's very fresh, very nice. And you... Does that bring you back to your childhood? Pizza burger any day. Look at mm, oh my God. that. Now look at that and tell me that you don't want to shove that in your mouth. That is the most beautiful specimen. Look how generous they are with that meat. Mm. Now this is not going to be elegant and it's not going to be pretty. No. So don't look. I don't even, I, I don't even know where to begin on this one. Mm. 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 Hot <laughs> salt beef, hot mustard, pickles. Mm. I would drive around the world for this. Cream cheese, smoked <laughs> salmon. What more could you ask for? There's a reason why there's a, you know, there's a mile long queue outside mm -hmm. because of that. <laughs> and two smoked salmon bagels. I didn't have any breakfast. Oh, that makes it all right then. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> this bagel walk would not be complete without a little trip to Whitechapel, to a very famous bakery that I've been wanting to go to for so long now. We are at Rinkoff's. Rinkoff's, if you love your bagels and your pastries, you've probably seen these guys on Instagram and they claim to have one of the best bagels in London. So I think it's down to me to find out if that really is true. I have mentioned in the past that I hate a queue. Um, there is a queue. This better be worth it. Ooh. Hi. Hi. This place, I have literally been waiting years to come here. This is a family business, right? Yes. So, so who, who sort of started it? Great grandpa, who's like on the on our logo. Yeah. So yeah, and then my grandpa, but he's no longer with us. And then my dad's still in the business. And my cousins, my uncles, wow. me and my sister. And then actually the fifth generation has just, just joined. No yeah, way, that's incredible. He's 21, yeah. Growing up, I was always here. I was like serving in the shop when yeah. I was like 10, Amazing. like getting paid like a pound or two pounds. Aside from their classic bagels, Rinkoff's is also well known for their rainbow bagels. These are plaited, colourful dough filled with marshmallow fluff. Lucky me. Ooh. My first ever rainbow bagel. It's filled the very sweet like marshmallow fluff have a taste <laughs> no <laughs> the bagels are from back in the day 1911 yeah wow our bagels are very like doughy mm. 
and they're a little bit crispy on the top. Mm. Almost popular salmon and cream cheese. Very good salmon. Do you know what else I like about yours? Is they're quite, um, they're, you said doughy, but sort of like really bouncy, chewy, mm. very, when you bite into it, like you get like a really good like indent. Yeah, 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 yeah. you can see your <laughs> And you get like part. really technical about like a, a bagel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My cameraman just won't behave. It's one thing trying bagels, but making them is a whole other ball game. I was kindly invited back to the Bagel Bake to spend a morning with the team making bagels. And clearly, I was in good company. If it's good enough for Wills and Kate, then it's good enough for me. Wish me luck. It's for a food show called Crazy Sexy Food. Sorry. <laughs> and it's all about the best bagels in London, but I get to now. Darling, you're not going to get no better I than I agree here. with you. So don't go anywhere else. <laughs> we are one. Brick Lane Bagel Bake, 159 Brick Lane, E1, Working here for 20 years, yes. Wow. I, was, I started whilst I was at university. Yeah. As like, you know, to help out my dad, who's getting on a bit. He's getting older. Plus. I didn't want to live on, I didn't want to pull my own weight, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the idea of family trade being passed down from generation to generation. We don't bake them on trays, we bake them straight from the oven floor itself, so it becomes crustier. Ah. How many bagels are you making every day? Probably about 2,000, 3,000 a day, but that's including wholesale. Do you go to New York much? I've been a few times, yeah, I've been about three or four times. What do you think of the bagels times. in New York? Everyone raves about them. I, I think these are better, personally. Yeah. So what's happening in here? So oh, this, this is, like this is the next dough that's being mixed. It looks similar to the one in my kitchen. Which so which is almost ready. You can see in the beginning it will be rougher and a, a slightly more yellow colour. As it's been kneaded enough, it mm. starts to lighten. It's quite nice. Yeah. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it, if you can imagine. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. look, it's rough. It's not. No, 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 no I, get, I see what you're saying. But in comparison to how it was, it's got a sheen to it. Oh my God, look at all of, is that all, is that flour? Wow. Jesus. This is ready to come out. We've been mixing it, and well, the machine needs it for us. It's been about half an hour. I have to say there's nothing better than a bagel at God knows what time on a Saturday night after a few drinks. Yeah, it soaks up the alcohol. Absolutely. <laughs> are you ready to get stuck in? You didn't really yeah. come prepared no, when I, you're um, back. I, listen, I never are come prepared. Are you going prepared. to break the flour? <laughs> yes. Yeah? You ready? Y yeah, well, okay, as I'll, ready I'll, as I'll ever be. I'll, I'll show you. Okay. And let's see what happens. Okay. Basically what we do is, once the dough's been, we take the dough off the machine and we rest it. So now we need to form the balls. Yep. Ready? Yep. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll show you one. So I sp uh, press that a little bit and I fold it like that. And you basically from the outside, bring it to the middle yep. and squeeze it. Outside to the middle and squeeze mm -hmm. it. You're going in like this? Yeah. Like that. I'll show you, we'll just put it together at the same time. That's all right, that will do. We were at this for a while yeah. and Look eventually that. got the hang of it. it. It really is harder than it looks. No, it's tricky, yeah. isn't it? It's like folding sheets. No, it is. To yeah. Why am and I going not from the, the edge? Same. I didn't really use much of my, much of my strength. There you go. There you go. And that's Look that. at yours and look at mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mirror exactly. image. This is basically my shop now. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hey! Sorry. I knew you got there first. We cheated. So how many bagels would we get out of what we've just done, would you say? Seven, eight hundred. Wow. Okay. I did a uh, pizza thing a few really? um, about a year or so ago, and it was an absolute disaster. <laughs> I've broken a bit as well. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. So we're gonna do another one now. <laughs> and what's more popular these days, smoked salmon or salt beef? Salt beef always. For me, actually, I like smoked salmon. So we'll squash this down. Put that on oh, here. Oh. Okay. Mhm. Mm and away we go. Oh, look! Should I take it out? Yeah, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. And I'll sh and, hey. and Yeah. <laughs> Careful, it's a bit heavy. That's all right. And just drop them into here. My dad started the place with his partners, his uh, brother and close friend. And uh, so it's, it's, it's nice that people feel that way, that yeah. they have nostalgia and fond Massive memories of coming nostalgia. here. Like, it just makes it that much nicer, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. Plus he left it behind, so it's like, he'll be remembered as well, yeah? Uh, of course. This guy has worked here for 20 years, and our Linda, even longer. 
There's a real sense of community and camaraderie back here in the kitchen. I love her. Oh my God, she's amazing. This is brilliant. Oh wow, very nice article. Linda, how long have you been here for? Oh God, I was coming upstairs, darling. What? <laughs> Wow. Happy birthday! Wow. So that's 30 years. God. Yep. Right, up next was the shaping of the bagels using this bad boy of a machine. Hands. Well, otherwise, what? I'll turn my hand into a bagel. <laughs> well, you might lose a few fingers. Uh, you ready? I'm going to turn this on, okay? Oh, just, just wait, just wait. I'm, only, I'm just okay. making nervous. I'm joking. Right. Just, just don't do anything yet. I'm a nervous person. Right here, show you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. You've done this before. They're coming up beautifully. Oh, okay. Bye. What's wait? What am I being? What am I being paid for this? Oh, so I've got a new partner. <laughs> new partner. I'm never going to see a bagel in the same way again. Is Linda the star of this show? I think so. Once the bagels have formed their shape, they are left to rest until they're placed into hot water to boil briefly, rinsed off before heading into the oven to bake on pine planks. Something in the flour makes them all a little bit crazy. They're lovely guys. <laughs> <laughs> that, they're all good. <laughs> yeah. The pride they have. Yeah, these are the ones Look that at you them. Made. It's all yours. They're all mine. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, am I allowed to have a little cheeky? Of course you are. Careful, they're really are hot. Are they really hot? Yeah. Okay, Mind your hands, darling. Thanks, Linda. What would I do without you? Oh, I have to do without you, darling. I have to do without you, darling. I have to do without you, darling. And what's the verdict? Do I have the job? Please, so tell of me what course. you think. 10 out of 10. Yes. <laughs> My dad's going to be so proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> I always look after my team. You've got to look, got to look after I'm the right. cameraman, you know? <laughs> I love how you call it a bagel. It is a bagel. It is a darling. bagel, I know. We're not bagels, I must get that very, very clear. It says up there, bagel bake. Yeah. Not Bagel. Linda makes me their bestseller, the undefeated champion, the bagel to end all bagels, salt beef, pickles and hot English mustard. Let me just show you, you'll never get a bagel like this anywhere. Okay, there is absolutely no pretty way to do this, so don't mind me. Oh my God. This is what you get when you spend all morning making bagels. This is absolutely sublime. The brisket is like butter in your mouth. It is so tender. You've got the real the real spark of the mustard, the sharpness of the mustard, the sweetness of the pickle, the chewy, dense consistency of the, the, the bagel, with its slightly crunchy outside. I mean, I, I, honestly, tell me something better. Show me something better. Look at this. Look at this. This is what it's all about. I love coming back to the East End with my dad. 
his memories of growing up around here before the gentrification and hipsters landed. Brick Lane is not only special to him, but ingrained in his childhood, as is the Bagel Bake. So um, back in the day when you were shooting for like the, uh, the Daily Express and all of that, what was your nickname they used to call you? Uh, the Bagel Snapper. The Bagel Snapper. As we finish up the walk, my dad gets his final snaps. It was so lovely to see families, history and patriotism within the bagel world. The people making these delicious round doughy pillows are just as great as the taste of their bagels.